Okay, in this tutorial, I'll take you through the steps of creating an object that looks like this. It looks quite straightforward, and it is, but just in case you're not familiar with the technique. All right, so we'll start from scratch. We'll just, there we go, have a basic object in here like this. All right, so a couple things I'm going to do. I'll go into edit mode first. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab a face down here like this. And the reason why I'm going to make a new vertex group like this, I'll call it cube. Like this, and I'll make I'll give those a weight of one, and then I'm going to control I, and give those a weight of zero. So you know, let's do it the other way. Let's give those a weight of one, and control I, and give this bottom one a weight of zero. So I don't want to affect the bottom one, like this here in a second. All right, so that's just preset for uh, later on here in the lesson. Okay, so then now I'm going to just. I'll grab everything like this and then I'm going to press control B for the bevel tool and I'll just move my mouse over till it starts moving it. Where is it? What did I do? Oh, better be an edge select. Do it again. Oh, there it was. Alright, so maybe about like that. I'll make it like this. So then I'll come and grab each one of these faces that I don't want. And I'll delete them X and only the faces like that. So it leaves me these edges. But if that's a cage, it's not a very strong cage because you can see it's got the really thin edge like that. But it's a nice shaped cage, right? It's not just a regular wire form of some sort. So then we want to go get a modifier. And let me make sure, let me leave edit mode. I'll go into the solidify modifier like we used in a previous lesson. For the first time, we'll just change the thickness like this right here and we'll change it up and suddenly we're adding some nice depth to it so it becomes like a solid edged cage like that nice beveled corner so it gives it a nice shape but also with the same problem I was doing is I was changing the thickness down here so if you don't want to change the th thickness down there that's when we need that cube right there so then only these change thickness down to oh, well that point I probably should have grabbed only the interior points for there because notice it's doing a taper well that's interesting you do a nice 10 effect like that but so vertex groups make a huge difference I actually kind of like it without the vertex group so we'll get rid of the vertex group and there's there's your solid cage like that so it's a powerful little technique and it's you know gives you nice custom shapes the bevel tool is really powerful and you can do a lot of kind of fun stuff with it and all right, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.